Hi, a short video about resizing an image <clears throat> or scaling one. Uh, this is an image file that I got from CDB Systems, their courseware. I've uh, been hanging on to it for uh, ages. Cyril with CDB Systems did a sketch based on a Richard Meyer building. The idea being that we know a certain distance here, and I don't remember what it is, but if we said, for example, that the property line was supposed to be 300 feet from this corner to this corner over here, then if I use the resize tool, so let me select the image first, and then use, I'm sorry, I still call it resize, that's what it used to be, it's supposed to be scale. Uh, when I click on scale, because it's selected, what Revit wants me to do is to click to enter the origin. So what's the first point? And what's the next point? And then it's looking for an actual size. So if I punch in 300 at this point, it'll resize or scale. And now, if I move it back in the center here, then I can grab the measuring tool. And again, since it's it's a raster image, it's pixels, it's very random, it's roughly 300 now. That means I can sketch over the top with massing or walls and so forth and continue on with the design, but using Revit objects instead of um, lines and so forth. But it's based on loosely on the image that's underneath it. So however accurate your image is, or however accurate you are about the points that you pick, I mean, you could zoom in and pick a point, zoom in, pick another point, so it would be really accurate based on the pickles. <laughs> anyway, it's not very hard, um, fairly simple tool. There are There is another option to resizing, so if I say uh, undo that, <coughs> and I'm stuck with the resize word, sorry. If I scale this, in addition to graphical, I can use numerical scale, so I could literally you know, double it, triple it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if I use numerical, if I know the image is about half its size, then I can punch in, you know, click to s define an origin, and it'll multiply it by whatever that size was in the options dial or the options field. So hope it helps.